video today. I mean, it would have been way, way, way sooner, maybe. It would have been way more sooner, but even though it really would have been a whole different video plan for that, but no. I decided to do this anyway because, well, uh, you know, I accidentally slaughtered the life of my Wi-Fi extender. Uh, obviously, I don't have a Wi-Fi card because I just find a Wi-Fi extender to be so more convenient than a Wi-Fi card. I don't know. I think I probably was looking up Wi-Fi cards before and I just ain't want to fuck with it because it was like, maybe I saw too many of them that cost too much damn money for me to pay for it. I managed to just look for a Wi-Fi extender and it was just way more cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Just way more cheaper. So I said, you know what, fuck, man, with Wi-Fi extender. You know what I'm saying? But, you no, know, today, today is the, I guess, supposed remaster of the very first motherfucking story time. I, I know, man. I, I know. <laughs> There's, there's really more to this fucking story that you probably don't even know about. Because I didn't even bring it up. My ass is just too traumatized on the fact that, well, I mean, you'll, you'll find out. You'll find out. Only the OGs will know the the story. You know what I'm saying? If you watched the video that I did with the both of them. If you watched the both of them back then when I first did them. It was like, you 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 will know what this story is about before I even say anything about it. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is about a time how I almost... And I say almost, even though technically I, te I, I technically did, but didn't because it was around the time where I didn't get enough information on the shit. The time that I almost fell in love with a motherfucking school thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, my ass, my ass was almost cooked. I almost, almost forfeited my life at one point because of this motherfucker. I, I hated, I hated this shit. It was so fucking traumatizing. It just, I just, I just couldn't remember. It was like, yeah, I got some good experience, but it's like, <laughs> was it really worth it? Before we do get to this though, I am just making this video because it's a, it's a return video. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute since I actually uploaded the video, and I just be getting so mad because the fucking new tomorrow's teachers videos for some reason that <laughs> for some reason i want to do a reaction on that see now i'm fucking stuck in the matrix bro i can't even upload a regular fucking video i can't do shit until i get a new wi-fi extender like i gotta wait till that motherfucker to get here on a fucking friday but anyway it basically all started in his little little domestic ass high school i like to call he didn't fight for this ass high school and what i mean by that is you know martin luther king high school and motherfucking Detroit. I'm just saying right now, if you a motherfucker that went to this school at the time that I went in this school, you was, pro you was probably not wanting to go back there for a good old time because, nigga, I seen a lot of shit, nigga. I seen bitches get they ass beat by niggas. My, bro, I, I, I heard stories of a nigga bringing, his gun, bringing a gun to school because his bitch done broke up with him the day before. I'm like, dog, these niggas are, these niggas are no future, bro. And this, it's like, in this fucking school, it's like, I heard stories of fucking cast being worse than fucking King High School, but I, it's like, bro, I pretty, I'm pretty sure that even if I was, if I, even if I seen enough of cast to really compare the two, I really do feel like fucking King High School got that shit, man. Like, I swear to God, bro, there was this one time I was taking a fucking test, and I, I think I didn't go the day after that because of some shit. And apparently, bro, niggas was having a goddamn tournament brawl. These niggas was out here beating each other's ass like this was fucking fortnite nigga I've, I've never seen something so crazy go down like that and i'm just glad that i wasn't there that day i hated the school because this is one of the reasons why you know i have a fucked up a fucked up future in the first place yo yo cannot compare to me when it comes to being an introvert i'm, I'm a heavy ass introvert like it takes me a good old time until i can get you know used to being around certain people that i'm not used to being around you know what i'm saying so i was in this class that was basically the same class as the first class as I go to in the morning but the only difference of it being is that it was just a small ass class and it was really just to just I guess hone in on the fucking you know I guess algebra and shit first of all when it comes to anything that is not included with regular math bro I swear to god on my, everything I love dog you ain't catching me trying to learn any of that shit because even if I learn it my ass is gonna forget within the next day and it was like I just couldn't do nothing at that point. I was just cuz like my 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 struggles was really kicking my ass at during that time. So at some point where one of the dumbass fucking administrators, I say dumbass because it was like one of my favorite classes and motherfuckers. I mean it's understandable on why, but it's like motherfuckers really ruined probably one of my favorite classes to put me in another class that'll just ruin my life later down the line any fucking way. <laughs> but 
anyway, yeah, they basically do this shit and they start putting us in different classes. And not all of us are in the exact same class. I don't even think any of the motherfuckers that was switched over to a different class. I don't even think any of them niggas had the same class as me. Like, not a single one of their asses. I was just sitting there like, damn, I'm really going to this motherfucker by myself. That shit looked like I was in a hotel, but the hotel never ended. Like, it was like no fucking way I was going to be able to figure out this shit by myself. I'd be, and I'd be scared to ask a nigga for help, too, because it's like, I ask a motherfucker for help on some shit. They probably going to look at me just as confused. Like, uh, I mean, it could be over there, like, type shit. I'm like, come on, bro. He's supposed to be my savior, no homo. I was so irritated. I was, I just, I just get, I just got so mad during that day because I'm like, I'm trying to figure out this damn classroom and my directions is all fucking confused. It's like one woman would tell me one thing and then for some reason I get confused right after that, you know, that ADD mind type shit. Like, oh my God. So I finally find it and I get to the class. I feel so awkward going into this class because first of all, this is a class that involves music. It's like, bro, when did I, when did I have to redo this shit again? It's like, didn't I have to deal with this shit in fucking DEA, the school, the first, the school that initially ruined my, you know, mental and happiness before going into a whole different school that I have no knowledge about. <laughs> it's like, yo, come on, man. Like, is it really me or am I really out here just dealing with this shit right now? So I go in this class. It's awkward as hell. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm all scared and shit. I'm all shy as fuck. I'm like, bro. I really gotta be in this motherfucker. I, why can't I just fucking leave? Like, you no, know, I get settled in on the first day. I get settled in on the first day, and I'm like, you know what? All right, man. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm alright, bro. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Like, I, I don't, I don't fuck with music like that. Like, don't get me wrong. I would love to make a song in today's world. You know what I'm saying? Put some frustration and let motherfuckers know that uh, school ain't shit. Drop out. Uh, no, no, no. On the serious note, don't drop out. Yeah, I'm in this. I'm in this fucking class. Just, just you know, the first day awkward and shit. Singing like a motherfucker. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, eventually, I'm just settled in. I'm like, all right, you know, I can, I can get through. I can get through for this. I guess semester. I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? I can get through. I can get through. It did. You know, I guess, I don't know how many days after that, but it was this one day that everything, this is when shit starts getting pretty interesting. So this day I, I decided to go in, it was a dude that was legit interested in me. I'm sitting there like, wait, <laughs> like what the man is trying to, man, man is trying to hit on me. That nigga was interested. I'm like, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you see in me. Like, uh, Look, I I didn't think I'd be that attractive to attract the same gender. Like I look the opposite gender I obviously you know give a fuck about me and I'm not saying that because I'm gonna feel good, but no, nah, I mean like, you know, when I actually try to put in the work, motherfuckers look the other way and they be on that shit. We talking and then just I can't remember what he said specifically, but it was definitely on along the lines of like trying to get to know me a little bit before he decided to hit that little quick. I think it, I I can't remember if it was anything specific, but I think in the category it was something to do with like like do I swing that way type, you know, uh question and I'm I'm like I'm like I ain't really about that for I ain't want oh my god, that's about what to make me so gay. I don't, I don't swing that way. Like I I'm good man. Like you you a cool dude, don't get me wrong, but like I don't I don't swing that way, you know. You know, he, he brushed it off. He was like, oh, my God. Like, he, he brushed it off and, you know, just kept it going. Kept the move, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, like it, that shit ain't ever, never happened. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just moved up. We just moved forward like the shit ain't never happened for real. So, it was it was just a weird, weird day. And, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, I didn't really think that day would ever happen. But I'm not surprised because, it's like, I don't know. I just expected something like that to really happen eventually. I just didn't think it would be like in that day. After that day, you know what I'm saying? Shit go by. I went there. I was, I don't know. I, I was just, I was just irritated. I was like, bro, I really got to be in this class, bro. Like, I'm just dealing with this shit mad as fuck. Because, like, I could be at home enjoying myself. I go in this day. And then it was just this interesting nigga. It was this girl that was in there, right? And I don't think I ever noticed her at all at any point in time because it was like, I don't know. Like, she probably was in that class. And when She probably did walk in when I was and I just ain't never paid attention to her. But it was that one day she walked in where she actually started to be on a hee hee ha ha shit. You know what I'm saying? That I think you're kind of cute type shit. And it was like, I never, and the crazy part is she's doing this shit and I'm just, it's like I'm glancing a little bit by accident because I'm trying to look somewhere else. But I'm trying to look in that direction at the same time. I'm I'm seeing and I'm just like, hmm, you know, like, uh. Like, I, I, I felt a little bit uncomfortable, but not in the sense that because it was embarrassing. Because it was like, you know, I'm like, she's genuinely trying to tell me something. And I'm just not 
in it. Like, I'm just not with it. Like, cause I, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful around these ones, bro. Especially in this school, bro. Listen, there was a bitch in this school pregnant. Like, I swear to God, this motherfucker was in this school pregnant like a motherfucker. And it was just the biggest surprise. I'm like, you know what? I'm seeing it all at that point. Moving forward, you know, she, she's doing all this shit. And I'm just, I'm just not paying attention to it as much as I can. Cause I'm not trying to make the first move and then I embarrass myself for some reason. So, and then next thing I noticed, the motherfucker basically told her friend to tell me that you kind of cute like it's i was sitting there like oh okay like i, I didn't know what the fuck to say after that because first of all i've never been a, i never encountered a woman like this at all in my life period like you know what i'm saying like i had a motherfucker flash on me but that was way way many years ago when i was actually like i think 12 or 13 you know i was i was down for it i i wasn't trying to like actually be on some like aggressive shit but i was down for it and i'm like yeah like you gotta kill dude you know what i'm saying and they brought that back door and her ass was cheesing hard. first of all she was, she was cheesing hard as hell the whole way through it was like damn man like she really really wants me to know that she likes me man awkward as hell just like huh you know like it's a pretty odd moment for me and eventually like you know time goes by we you know she's still doing the same shit cheesing like a motherfucker when she see me you know on some flirty ass shit it's like it's like the type of flirting where you see a girl do when she really really likes you when she really wants you to know that she likes you and make it so obvious that there is no way you can actually miss the signals that was look that was me because i was clearly missing them singles but i was missing them signals on purpose i was not trying to get you know put on the fucking hashtag list like there's no way like drake is already on the hashtag list for going crazy and i ain't got time to get hit on the hashtag list for just trying to talk to a girl that's obviously feeling for me so some time go by and I can't remember how what happened. I made the move or if she made the move. But definitely one of us made the move. Because after that, you know, that last day we actually get out. And, you know what I'm saying? We eventually just start dating. And I'm just like, you know, like, feels pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? I got a girlfriend that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I might be able to type that ad. You know what I'm saying? I might be able to get some action. And, you know what I'm saying? Eventually time goes by while we're dating eventually you know i'm I'm letting her use my phone and shit with my charger and shit i don't think no i think i let her use my phone too but yeah let her use my phone when it was my charger and shit you know between classes and it was like i'm i'm really doing this shit now this is red flag number one because when this shit is going down like if, if she got your phone and your charger <laughs> and that motherfucker don't want to bring it back until like in the school that's red flag number one you know what i'm saying you gotta be careful with that because <laughs> either she trying to plot on some shit or she trying to plot on some shit event so tom so after that you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm letting that shit go by then it was this one day i can't remember if this happened before it, this this fat ass nigga bro <laughs> This fat ass, gerbil ass nigga comes out the woodwork while I walk into my most annoying class, first of all, come through and start talking crazy to me as if I'm the one that's beefing with him. I'm like, nigga, what? Like, this nigga talking about something. Hey, yo, yo, girl, oh, yo, girl, oh, yo, yo, girl, sleep with a whole nigga, nigga. But saying it in a way, in a sense, like, they, he really wants me to, you know, do some shit about it to him like i was sitting here like come on bro like i'm trying to go to, like let me go to my class bro. i'm like bro go to class like go to class i'm saying that shit over and over again that nigga that nigga his fat ass wouldn't shut the fuck up about saying this so i'm just saying it over and over again he's just saying the same shit over and over again eventually i think the teacher just comes through and close the door and i'm like thank fuck i ain't saying no shit out there but it was like bro this fat ass nigga really tried to press me for some pussy. Like, in this, yeah, just, you know, in this class, irritated like a motherfucker. Make sure I just get my phone and shit back. Now, there is a point in time where her Facebook will come into play because this dumb motherfucker really decided to leave her Facebook logged in on my phone, thinking I wouldn't even pay attention and try to get in that motherfucker. And God knows she made the wrong mistake doing that because I, I saw what I saw and I did what I did, and sadly it was like, bro. But anyway, fast forward from that fat fuck trying to, you know, press me on some dumb shit. I was hanging out with some, like, some people. I can't remember who specifically. I'm just sitting here walking with these niggas because obviously at that time I was walking home. I can't remember who said what, but one of them niggas was telling me, like, you know, she a whore, right? And then, well, not necessarily specifically that, but just in the context, basically saying that the motherfucker is a whore. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then telling me the stories on how basically she was on the stairs giving a nigga neck. <laughs> neck i mean Brother, like uh, like neck like and like first of all it was it caught me by surprise i'm sitting there like wait a minute that can't be right you know what i'm saying like the motherfucker was on the stairs school stairs mind you school stairs y'all know them stairs right the stairs where the motherfuckers where no motherfucker go to 
and it'd be the sweet spot for getting that got got the thousand, you know what I'm saying? That neck action, you know what I'm saying? That hot, sloppy, sick. <laughs> But no, like it was one of those stairs and no BJ, no HJ, no none of that. Just straight up neck. Like, you know what I mean by neck. They tell me, like, motherfucker tell me this. I'm sitting there like, hey, yo. They ended up telling me that the reason why she gave the neck because she wanted some fucking crazy bread. Now, here's the crazy part about all of this. Like, King High School is literally down the street from Little Caesars. Like, there's a whole Little Caesars in that area, and it's like, it's, bro, it's like being in the worst part of New York, bro. It's like, it's like, I don't know how niggas say that Detroit is worse than New York. You got caught lacking up there. It was raps. Like, motherfuckers was gonna tear that motherfucker up, bro. And yeah, that's that's where every motherfucker after school went. Even if they skipped school, they'd go straight down to Little Caesars, buy some damn pizza, and call it a day. They'd probably go down to the River Walk, chill down there for a little bit. And then, you know what I'm saying? They, they, well, I wouldn't say they go home, but maybe they'll probably come back in one class or another when they can try to blend in type shit. Craziest shit in the world, no pun intended, is that they literally gave her the nickname crazy bread it was in a crazy bread or crazy head either way it go it was still bad for me it was bad for my mental because i'm saying to her like bro i've been kissing this motherfucker and you know that shit is bad like if you have been kissing a bitch and you find out this information it's like, bro, what can you really do in this situation you've been kissing the bitch that's been given the neck for some food it's like dog there's no way like i'm i mean i'm just sitting here not really paying attention to it i'm like yeah like i ain't gonna believe that shit because it's like you know how shit go when motherfuckers like to lie just to get some pussy it's like you know what i'm saying like the fat nigga that was at the, cor at the fucking corridor the, the class i was going to the motherfucker kept saying the same shit over and over again for some cooch i'm like dog if she's really that easy go have her then like god damn like let, let her be the one to tell me that i ain't shit and then i can just keep going with my time you know what i'm saying be with my depressed time my depressed moments you know what i'm saying we keep pushing they you know and you know everything go by and then it's just moving a little bit clean you know what i'm saying now there was the point in time where basically me and her was getting a little bit you know frisky like it was about that time that she really started to show that i want you huh? type shit every time we were to like i guess hang with each other talk to each other and saying this motherfucker will make it clear as day that she won't the meet this motherfucker was straight arm wrestle my huh? not through my pants but all my pants like that motherfucker i mean you you you'll find out soon but yeah that motherfucker every time trying to grab my huh? i'm just sitting there like yo this is violation on a whole nother level like this shit is like she's really sexually har not har not even harassing me like this motherfucker is groping me at this point like this motherfucker is like hey yo i heard you got that thing on you you know let me hide that like that I'm, <laughs> but i didn't do shit about it and the reason why is because it felt good it felt good i'm sorry uh, this shit felt me. good not it made not. jimmy stand up but two you know what i'm saying that, that shit was like two hot type shit you know what i'm saying and i'm just sitting there sort of enjoying it but i'm just sitting here uncomfortable and just awkward because it's like it was always niggas around us not not specifically niggas i swear to god not specifically niggas i think there's some bitches too it's just making me so uncomfortable and you know what i'm saying like, you know how you, how you get that yo i'm feeling a bit ticklish right now type beat you know what i'm saying and i'm just I, I just i just didn't know what to do with it it was you know what i'm saying it's just it just kept happening for a good minute eventually a time goes by where you know we are you, you know i guess we're not walking i can't remember what setting it was but it was definitely somewhere i guess private because this motherfucker took it up a notch this one look i said the motherfucker was grabbing that motherfucker on the pants and i say on the pants because you gonna find out why this motherfucker kicked it up and now that motherfucker said yo i'm saudero gojo on this bitch like this motherfucker one day was like yo you know what i'm trying to see what it feels like and she said i'm going f well she didn't say it but the move she made definitely told me that she was going in fully and i couldn't even react the time when this motherfucker went in my pants my pants she went she she touched the meat through the pants now I mean, this is why i say on the pants because she was on the outside she was on the surface with it so it was like it felt nice but when she went in that bitch when i say it felt like I couldn't really control myself. Not saying I went ape shit like I was, you know, Planet of the Apes type shit. But it was like, she did that and I felt, it, it felt very, very good. I know it's crazy to be saying this, but it felt 
fucking amazing. And she's just doing this shit. She's just massaging it and shit. Keep in mind, I'm also feeling embarrassed too because um, certain shit you don't say on the internet. So I'm keeping that to myself. And I'm just sitting here just enjoying it a little bit. But I'm still feeling uncomfortable. You know, it it, 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 it sort of, it does sort of stop right there. You know, motherfucker kind of kept doing it and just stopped doing it right there. You know, we still kissing this shit. And I'm still having that thought in the back of my head. It's like, am I really kissing a girl that gave some neck for some goddamn crazy bread? Like, come on, bro. After that, once it started snowing and shit, this was around the time I was walking her to her bus because her bus stop was the opposite way. And then I'm on my way home. Like, I'm on my merry way home. This one time we decided to walk to the bus stop. You know, I guess I was feeling a little bit frisky this time, but... This was after she initiated the moves that she initiated on that day. This was a completely different day after some time. You know, gets a little bit turned up. And I guess we just start making, I guess, my definition of making out. I guess it comes to some point where, you know, we going to the little bus shelter and shit. I get my, you know, arms through. Not, well, I don't know how the fuck I did it, really. Now, keep in mind, this is this is red flag number two. Now, this this is how you know that this is indeed the school thought sometimes. Like, some, they come in different breeds, you know what I'm saying? Some of them know how to clean up. Some of them know how to, you know, get the intermediate done. And some of them just downright just don't give a fuck. So... This one time, I decided to go in her fans and do the thing, you know what I'm saying? Not fuck her, obviously. I don't, I don't know what y'all thought it was. Like, I ain't lose my V-card. I still ain't got my V-card. That's why I'm still a virgin to this day. You know what I'm saying? I'm just starting to go through her pants and look unbend and shit. I feel a fucking bobby pin. She had one of those as the buckles. And I was like, oh my God. And I, I actually felt the, you know, the, the quality of the shit. You know what I'm saying? She was wearing leggings. And I felt the quality of that motherfucker. It was... It was pretty bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you had to, if you had to use a, you know, whatever the fuck clip to hold that motherfucker together, um, yeah, so, you know, I get to that, I ain't really pick it up, but that's red flag number two that I ain't pick up, so, me and that motherfucker, you know, I'm in that motherfucker, I'm doing my thing, I'm, I'm just going ham on it, and if, nah, I'm not gonna hold you up, that shit felt amazing, like, that shit felt nice to the touch, she over here moaning a little bit and shit, so you, you know what I'm saying, it, it just felt, it, it was just, inter it was just interesting, you know what I'm saying, that shit was going down, she, she doing a little quiet moaning and shit, and here's the worst part about it all, I'm doing this in a bus shelter, with, with, with motherfuckers around us doing that shit. Now, I'm sitting here like, it feels awkward, very awkward, cringe, and you know what I'm saying, just it felt so weird to do that around random niggas that's just trying to get home, bro. And it's like, I don't know what the fuck to do. So, I'm just doing this shit. I'm just trying to keep a straight face the whole way through. So, I'm just, we, we doing our thing and, you know, the bus come by and, you know, we, we do our little kiss goodbye and boom, we're already just, you know, we're on our way home. And, you know, I got the trophy of my hands and my fingers, I guess. So, I got the trophy of my fingers. So, I'm like, you know, I wonder what it smells like. I take a whiff in that motherfucker. <sighs> and when I say it smelled like clap that ass and old cake, I mean, like, bro, this shit had me in turmoil. I'm sitting here like, dog, what the fuck do I do? It's like I didn't really realize the situation until after so many times of just smelling my finger the entire time. I'm like, bro, the worst part about it. Is that I was hungry. I'm hungry in this shit. I'm like, dog, I don't know what to do, bro. I'm hungry. I need to eat something, bro. Good thing I had money on me, but you know, I basically had to do a long ass walk home, hungry as shit. Hurt as fuck. I get home, the door's locked. I get home, the door's locked. I'm sitting here like, yo, there's no way I'm doing this shit. I basically have to wait until somebody get home. And this was around the time my mom and them was still working and shit. So, uh, basically, I... I get so hungry that I'm like, you know what, there's a gas station up the street, you know what I'm saying, going the other way, where I came, you know what I'm saying, I just, oh, I just go up there and give me a little zebra cake, you know what I'm saying, them bitches slap till this day, I don't care what you tell me, when I buy it and I'm ready to eat it, I realize if I eat this with my bare booty naked hooch juice finger, I might die, like I might actually, nigga, I might actually get put on my shirt, like I probably don't want to eat this full blown with, you know, this atrocity that I call a trophy in my fingertips, like being all careful and showing how to open it so I can, you know, open it right and so I don't touch it by accident, not even in the slightest because if I did, I most likely would have eaten that motherfucker straight to the gulag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I eventually I get down to it. I eat it without touching. I'm just, I'm feeling blessed. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ate something and I can go home and not feel like I'm hungry and just kind of feel 
sad that I have this shit on my hand and I can't get rid of it yet. And so I get home, door still locked, but eventually, you know, a little bit time goes by. And I say a little bit by like, I think a couple minutes. I'm able to get in the house and shit because my grandma come home and she unlocked the door and I'm just... I'm happy as fuck. I'm like, thank you. And I get I get down there and I'm just washing my hands and shit. Because I'm trying to make sure that motherfucker is clean. Like, I'm trying to make sure that motherfucker is Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Like, that shit had me in panic mode. I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm just wondering, like, is this shit really real? Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never got introduced to pussy like that before. At least not in, you know, that close proximity. You know, and... Something tells me that it's, it's not supposed to go down that way. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to have a certain, you know, rant, not rancid smell, but, you know, a certain smell that'll make you think, you know, somebody done died in here. But I just keep it pushing after that. And, you know what I'm saying? You know, one, you know we, we just chilling, you know. And then eventually, you know, this is when I realized, you know, the motherfucker left her, you know, Facebook and shit logged in on my phone. And I never really looked. So this one day I decided to go to the bathroom. I'm like, you know what let me let me check this shit real quick because if this is if it's true for what motherfuckers was telling me before if it's true then the messages will be there like the messages of her talking to other niggas on some freak shit in the dates we were dating are dating word you know what i'm saying those will show and it will it will make sense you know what i'm saying i saw i go through them and eventually that's when I, that's exactly what I saw. I basically saw this motherfucker was talking to, I think a whole different nigga also, you know, dating shit. They could, they could have been fucking too. I don't fucking know. But yeah, I saw that shit and I'm like, hmm, so they were telling the truth. And I'm not saying that, and I'm not trying to say that, oh, well, they were trying to lie. I'm saying that because some niggas look, Cut out that nigga eyes, he I'm just, I'm, I'm a little bit tight about this shit. I'm sitting here like, yo, this motherfucker was cheating on me the whole time. And th like the motherfucker was on some shit the whole time man motherfuckers was right it's just that i didn't want to let the motherfuckers win because like i said motherfuckers will lie for some pussy like motherfuckers will really try to lie on you for some pussy you know they was right and i'm just like all right well now i gotta get rid of this motherfucker so there was this one day i decided you know i'm gonna, I'm gonna break up with her when i get out of school and that's what i did i did that and the motherfucker was not having it that much she, she was mad as fuck, this motherfucker really, really wanted to be with me to the point where she just wouldn't leave me alone. This, this day when I went out of school, I'm, I said, you know, we're gonna break up, man. I, I said my reason, you know, she like, why? I said my reason, and I showed her the proof and this and that. This motherfucker basically was like, I don't want you to leave me type shit, and was literally keeping me from going home. And I'm sitting here like, bro, I gotta go home, bro. Like, can, can like, can we just break this off because I can go home? And keep in mind, there's niggas walking past us while this shit is happening. I gotta go home. And I'm feeling embarrassed as fuck doing this shit because I'm doing this shit outside. And I'm supposed to be on my way home. Like, I'm just I'm just through with all this shit. And she just wouldn't have it. Like, she she just wouldn't leave me alone about this shit. She's like, yo, don't leave me alone. And she was crying and shit. And I'm just feeling awkward. I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers might be thinking I'm a woman abuser or some shit. I heard her feelings. It's like, bro, I don't know what the fuck to do at this point. So, I fold and be like, all right. you know, Like, I changed my mind. You know what I'm saying? I only said that because I just wanted to go to fuck I'm like, I I changed my mind. Like, I ain't breaking up with you no more. And then she was happy. She was happy as fuck, hugging me and shit. I think we kissing. I was mad as fuck. I was. She she did that, and I was just like, you know what, bro? <laughs> At this point, I quit. Eventually, I remember that I think the both of us made one Instagram for each other. I don't know why. And this was the era where basically motherfuckers be like, "Ew, look at my boyfriend." Got they old you know Instagram pages and shit of them to each other, you know what I'm saying, doing cute shit, telling some, my boyfriend buy me something, my boyfriend is something, you know what I'm saying, type shit, and I'm just sitting there like, bro, fuck your nigga, you know what I'm saying, like, fuck that little bitch, you know? so, that shit going down and shit, you know, she, we done did that, and I have remembered that later down the line, I'm like, you know what, this might be what can get this motherfucker to leave me alone, I wasn't thinking that specifically, but it was the only option I had to make her say fuck me, so I did what I did by basically redoing that entire page by just calling her out, saying she a fucking hoe, all this shit, you know what I'm saying, I do all of that, I say all of that, because it's the only way to get her ass to leave me the fuck alone, I'm like, bro, there's no way that she'll chase me after this, like, she, she will be done with me after this, and my friend was over here with this shit too, this, this, this man was seeing here going, this man seen me go through this shit and he was just sitting here like bro i do that shit niggas start picking that shit up and you know she she was triggered she was very very mad very mad indeed so 
you know, she goes down and, you know, she mad at me and she started doing her, you know, I hate you shit. And, you know, we go our separate ways a little bit. And I say a little bit because she still was, you know, harassing me, pissing me off, trying to beat my ass. You know what I'm saying? Doing that shit over and over again. And this one day, this one day, look, I'm going to say this right now. Niggas don't know how long ago Crash Out was actually real. But let me tell you something. This one day, I'm walking with my friend, right? And keep in mind, this is, this is why, look, this is why. When you see them videos talking about how whenever you in this certain level of crash out or in that level of crash out, that you're going to need your friends to be around you. Because if you don't and you by yourself, shit might happen. Listen, I'm glad that nigga was there that day because she came through and she was displaying her hate the worst way possible. And that worst way possible was trying to kick me in my shit. So she tried to kick me in my boom in my bam. Yeah, she tried to do a resectomy on me with her fucking leg. And she did that shit and actually succeeded a little bit because that shit does that shit did make contact a little bit and it hurt it. And when that did that, nigga fuck the level one, level two, level three crash out. Nigga, I was on level four. Nigga, I was like, you know what, bro? I wasn't calm, but nigga. I was ready to risk it all to let her know that she don't fucked up. And I know it's crazy. Like, I'm going to say this right now. Around that time, I didn't give a fuck. Because if y'all knew what I went through back then, which I will not say. Because obviously, that's to myself. And I keep that very personal to myself. And I don't tell people specifically. Because if I tell people and they start trying to be on some whole ass shit, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I can't fuck with you after that. Like, genuinely, you do you you fuck with me with my shit. I don't, I can't, I can't be cool with you no more i was i was through with like when she did that nigga i snapped it was the it was literally instant transmission goku type shit like my ass went from being irritated to when she did that and i felt the pain a little bit like the most slightest of pain and yo, number 19, if someone tries to kick you, if you feel any kind of pain, it don't matter how small, how medium, how catastrophically bad it is, that's like spitting on somebody, bro. You, you, you might lose your life. No dudes play when you kick them in their balls. And when she did that, nigga, it was, it was, I felt, I felt my, my time ass came. Like, I crashed out. I'm just, I'm just be honest. I crashed the fuck out. This was crash out before crash out existed. This was crash out before crash y'all even had levels to the shit thank god like i said have your nick have your homies with you because they will make sure you don't crash out this nigga saw that and he saw me react the way i reacted he held my ass back i'm like bro he is a w man because i swear to god bro if he if he wasn't there that day i swear i would have just said fuck it like I, my life is already ruined i'm already getting bullied my mental's already dead you know what i'm saying now there's obviously more that's to this but i just find it to be a, a little bit pointless to throw in it because it really just has to do with the fact that you know her big brute call of duty zombies ass sister because apparently the motherfucker snitched in when that motherfucker showed up, look, this was a sister. When that motherfucker rolled up, I thought this was a full-blown nigga in a wig. I'm, I'm just being 100% serious at this point. And so, yeah, that part of the story is kind of pointless and useless. I'm pretty sure I'll put that in the old video. But for this video particularly, it's just useless. It's not really information that just matters for real yeah that's that's basically the story time about how i almost fell in love with school of thought <laughs> i almost fell in love with school of thought and i say almost because even though i kind of did this was before i had information to go about myself to really like make a true decision if i was gonna stick with this motherfucker or deal with the bullshit and i did if you know if you know me look i had i i had so much bullshit in my life to the point where like my, like i said my mental and shit is gone and I could say something like it's so much I went through that basically ruined me mentally. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's about it. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.